Are you a side sleeper who's tired of their hip grinding into the ground? I got a mat for you. Well, hey guys, what's going on? It's Samantha from Lone Crow Adventures, the channel where we talk about all things camping, hiking, and backpacking. Today, I want to introduce you to the Campy P3 sleeping pad made by Unigear. You guys are going to like this one. Now what makes the Camphy P3 air pad different from a lot of sleep pads is the use of these different types of baffles in different sections of the pad. If you take a closer look, you'll notice that the shoulder section has a nice rounded baffle design to help keep you centered on the pad. The lumbar area also features a small protrusion which really helps to offload weight from your hips. We have a very nice waffle style design for your legs to sit in and a concave ankle design area to really offload the weight from your heels, making this pad ideal for those sleeping on either their back or their side. So before we blow it up, we're gonna go over some specs really quick. This pad has an R value of two, making it appropriate for shoulder seats and camping and for warm weather camping, but not appropriate for winter. Insulation is just not high enough on it, but great three season sleep pad. The weight on the pad is two pounds and the dimensions are 73.2 inches long and 25.2 inches wide. So let's go ahead and explore this thing a little further. This is the Campy P3 sleep pad by Unigear. It's laid out, have not blown it up yet, but you will notice that the inflation valve is on the underside of the mat, which can make adjusting that mat a little bit difficult, but it seems to hold pretty secure under the mat. This is a really interesting concept. They have provided you with a pump sack. Not only does the storage sack double down as a pillow if you stuff some items into it, but it actually has a sleeve that pops out and a valve on the bottom where this becomes a pump sack. So let's explore that next. Now the air pad does feature a stopper valve, which means when you put air in it, it's not gonna rush back out at you. And it has a little rubber flapper to keep that air in. Now the pump sack, initially I thought was kind of small, but surprising for its size, it actually works pretty well. So you take this end that protrudes here on the pump sack and you just click it right into the mat. And when you're using a pump sack, you're not gonna wanna do this sort of thing to try to fill it with air, cause that just doesn't work. The best way to do it is to open it up and keep your head away at a distance. Just gently blow some air on the inside of it. One of the nice things about using a pump sack, even though we're holding the bag open and we're blowing into it like this, is that when you blow in, it actually creates kind of like a vacuum effect and it sucks the surrounding air into the pump sack, which means that you're not gonna have moisture on the inside of your mat. And that means two things. Number one, it's not gonna decrease the R value. And number two, you're gonna be less prone to having moisture buildup and mildew on the inside of your mat. So it's a win-win situation. And I find this mat generally takes anywhere between about 12 to 15 sackfuls to fill up to the inflation level that I personally like. So far, pretty standard stuff, right? Well, that's where the standard stuff ends. And we can talk about the wonderful baffling on this sleep pad, which is the feature that really makes it shine for you side sleepers. So if you take a look, you'll notice that there are a couple different baffle designs on this sleep pad. We have the curved baffle here, which is designed just to raise a little bit at the edge to kind of coddle you and keep you centered on the mat. The second baffle part of the system are these three baffles here. And I'm gonna call these the lumbar baffles because what these baffles do is they protrude upwards just slightly so that it really offloads that lumbar spine or that lower back area. And that way, when your hip sits on this checkerboard pattern baffle down here, it really prevents it from digging into the ground. So in more of a top-down view of the mat, you can really see this part of the mat 
really curves in to hug your shoulders and keep you snug. But the other thing that's really great is this last baffle right here, which is where the Unigear logo is. And it is raised in relation to these. So when you have your backpacking pillow here, it is less likely to slide off the sleep pad because it's almost like an itty bitty little miniature headboard built into the mat to help keep your pillow in place, which is really, really helpful. And we have the same design also at the foot end to help keep your feet on the bottom of the mat as well. All right, so let's go for a lay on the mat. And immediately I can feel right here, right in my lumbar, it's almost like my spine is trying to be extended instead of a lot of mats where your spine kind of sinks in. This one kind of pushes it up and oh, feels really, really good. So it's really comfortable also if you're a back sleeper. But if you're a side sleeper, notice that where these baffles hit you kind of pushes that part of your spine up, keeping your spine anatomically aligned and causing very little pressure on the outside of your hip. So I don't feel, even if I don't have a pillow, I don't feel like my hip is grinding in at all. I find the majority of my weight is placed right on the top of the side of my rib cage here and a little bit on my shoulder, but I don't find that my shoulder is digging in either because the center torso of my body is where this mat is taking the most pressure, making it so much more comfortable to sleep. Now, in terms of durability, this mat is fantastic. Now, I've only used it a handful of times so far, and there have been no leaks, and it's performed really, really well, but the material on the exterior is actually made out of a 40 D nylon. So it's extremely resistant to puncture and it's extremely resistant to abrasion. You saw I just laid it down here on the ground. I'm not worried about it at all. I know that this mat can take some abuse. Now in terms of performance, I've tested this mat out a few times and it has held throughout the night. It does not leak air and it keeps me comfortable all throughout the night, whether I'm sleeping on my back or I'm sleeping on my side. Now, I am not a stomach sleeper, but my wife is a stomach sleeper and she hates this mat. She said it is terribly uncomfortable and the baffling on the front of it makes her feel a little bit nauseous. So if you are a stomach sleeper, you may want to look at another option because uh, I don't sleep on my stomach, so I can't report that, but she sleeps on her stomach and she just felt that because of the baffling here and this section being lower, that she just wasn't very comfortable on it. Now the Campy P3 does come with a field repair patch. I don't think you're gonna probably need this because this mat is extremely tear and puncture resistant, but it's good to know that it's there just in case you need it. So how would I rate the Campy P3 backpacking mat? I thought all in all, this was a very good mat and a good option for anybody out there who's a side sleeper that's looking to offload weight from their hips. I really liked that it had a curved baffle design. I really liked that it offloaded my hips really, really well. What I didn't like about it was that when I laid on it, it felt like my head was down a lot lower than where my feet were. And that's because of the design of that lumbar offloading or that lower back offloading area. That's just how the mat is designed. So it did take a little bit of getting used to to get used to that. But that would be the only complaint that I had about this mat. The durability was good, the construction was good, and it didn't leak overnight. And so for that reason, I'm giving it a four out of five crow rating. Now, if you guys are wanting to know information about other backpacking mats that might suit your needs, go ahead, click on the videos and check them out. And until next time, we'll see you on the trail.